all right as you had seen in my video uh, that i use this power supply to power up my pc and out of there we had got uh, this old power supply which i stored away here nicely so that it's uh, protected so let me take it out and then let's start working on it and then see what we can do how to really uh, manage uh, this power supply and put it on the connectors in so all right so if you see inside this one here only space i have to put in some connectors is uh, this side uh, if you see this one so it might accommodate uh, uh, this meter I hope it accommodates this meter somehow or is it too big I don't know but I will see because there are uh, some capacitors and there are some uh, connectors there so is it too deep this this is too deep I really have no idea so let's take the measurements Yeah, so this this is this is how I have to design it So these wires will go down because they are on the other side. So I'm not too much worried about it So the height is uh, is not there, but if I put here, so I get enough height Yeah, so this is uh, These capacitors uh, it has to be right on top of the capacitors So I need to put it as high as possible on on this one and the depth is there for sure so i'm gonna install uh, uh, this uh, regulator on top of this cover the right on top i'm just gonna screw this in something like this just two screws will be enough and then this goes like this inside so my other problem is solved so this will be as high as possible in the center right in the center okay this will go right in the center i will have to cut a hole for this one so as an extra step i have taken the measurement for this one for this cover and i took the measurement uh, for the inside uh, not the outside but inside i need to cut a hole in this and then just slide this in so what i did i did like this i'm just using a word document and all of this is to scale so everything is to scale so this uh, box is to scale the outside is to scale okay, so i have to cut the hole for uh, this guy here like this and then respectively cut the holes on that side all these and then i'm gonna use uh, my drill press here to do that stuff so next thing is uh, I'm going to just paste it on top of this one so that I have my template and then I can uh, do it nicely. Yeah, so everything looks good. So next thing you do is just uh, paste it. And uh, so this one, this one is the back side. So let me just uh, paste it. Take this, this paste, this is organic and this is very nice. The beauty of this thing is that uh, this is water soluble so once you apply it then um, uh, you can just uh, wash the stuff and this is gonna go off all right so this has dried out now it took a while but that is fine so now i have first thing i have to cut this portion and then later on if i need to adjust a few things on the sides then i i i could
So next step is uh, uh, to make holes for the connectors and uh, this is uh, I need to measure this uh, so this one is uh, uh, with the vernier caliper so this one is uh, so this one is uh, Seven point three eight and rotate it ninety degrees. Seven point three eight, so seven seven point five uh, mm. And uh, the hole I have, uh, I need to cut a hole uh, from uh, this one. So this is step one. This one is uh, The third one in 7.78 7 mm so this is gonna slide in nicely so I'm gonna cut hole at the third third step and then I will be done I have used the same method to put in the hole so I put in five holes one two three four five six seven so they are the same size uh, which is uh, uh, 7.78 uh, 7 or 7.8 mm uh, so around this and then uh, let me see how it goes inside so beautiful this goes in nicely look at this one this is beautiful next thing to do is uh, measure uh, this diameter here because I'm gonna use uh, some connector so this is 5.8 and I think the second step should be fine for this one this is uh, 6.19 5.8 6.19 so uh, once i cut uh, this this is uh, then um, i will make uh, i make the uh, connectors here these uh, these tiles and the holes in there to pass through this one nicely and then tighten it up with this uh, screw here there is a washer behind it and i will need a few uh, one for the main connection then the second one is uh, for measuring the current and I will leave a bigger I will make bigger hole here then leave one intact because I'm gonna cut it in the center and then wrap it around the wire and then solder it so if you solder it directly onto this one they will not be so strong so I want to keep them separate in just in case I need to remove this one I can put in another one so easily I don't have to do anything afterwards so I will do one then leave one then one then leave one then another hole and I will do it here pretty quickly I believe like this so I will just demonstrate so I'm gonna fold fold these corners around uh, the copper wire which I will take out from here and then fold it around I have uh, a crimping tool which I'm gonna use to crimp them together and then I'm gonna solder it and this side here this will go in the connectors but I will I will have to just round this up a bit and then I will be done so this will be installed on the back side here and then I will make all those connections and uh, then I have to install uh, this uh, potentiometer i will take out this potentiometer and then hook it up with this one all right so this is uh, the gadget this uh, actually goes from uh, 1.5 or 1.2 volts until i think 35 volts irrespective of what is the input voltage so it is boost as well as buck converter and this is only one amp but this is uh, I'm using for the lab power supply where I will not be applying too much current is just to test this stuff however uh, it can also handle three amps for a short period of time provided I pro put in the heat sinks so I'm gonna glue heat sinks on top of these uh, two and uh, I need to uh, replace this uh, 
potentiometer which is built in with this one which will be a string outside as you have seen so first thing first I need to find out uh, when I turn it clockwise uh, then what happens whether uh, this increases or decreases so I have to put it into the same configuration I believe when you do it clockwise then uh, uh, these two right pins should increase uh, the uh, the ohms so let me see how much it is now so I will test this one so this is 5.64 and let me give it a couple of turns so clockwise one two three this is uh, 20k and this is also 20k so this is perfectly matching and this one let me see how much is this now this is 5.92 so this is uh, clockwise uh, the right two pins they are increasing So this is the final product so as you see this is the light uh, which indicates that the power is there standby power is there so what you do you switch on and then um, it will uh, give you the reading so this is uh, right now this is the variable voltage that that I have here and I made these uh, connectors uh, this these are banana plugs and uh, I made uh, these uh, connectors here to get the power to the devices and uh, so what you do you basically take this thing out of one and then if you put it on for example 12 and then you just plug it in and now you have the voltage at 
12 volts and then you take it out from 12 volts and then put it into 5 volts so this is how you see this is 5 volts and um, similarly at 3 volts here so this is how it goes if you need to measure the current and power then you need uh, this one for earth so this wire goes there and then you put the load and then uh, it will show you so like this so i have this uh, 10 ohm 50 watt uh, resistor but uh, the voltage will be less at 5 uh, volts so i will just show you how it shows the current okay now you see the current is uh, half amp and the power is 2.5 watts and uh, energy is basically to low is just too low uh, to display kind of thing so this is how it measures uh, the current so if you put it uh, into 12 volts then the uh, consumption will be higher like this so at 12 volts it is showing 1.17 amps and 13 watts so this is how the the amperages are measured so i will show you how uh, much the range is for uh, the variable voltage so potentiometer you put it down goes to 1.25 volts and you increase and then it goes the highest term is 30 volts 